Thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. We hope that you find it very useful. On this video, we're going to review three types of angles most used for serving. Let me start with interior angles. For the purpose of illustration, let me use a pentagon. It is useful to label each angle as you work yourself into the problem. I recommend to adopt a habit to always work yourself on a clockwise pattern. This will help you gain speed as you attack any problem. Our first equation is used to determine the total degrees on any closed polygon. On this equation, the letter N is the total number of angles or knots on the polygon. It is always best to check if the given polygon is balanced. Do not assume that it is. If our first equation is not true, then it is best to find the total error by using the following equation. If the result using this equation is positive, then you need to add to the total degrees. If it's negative, then subtract. The correction needed to either add or subtract to each angle is determined by dividing the total error by the number of knots. Finally, that correction would be used to adjust each interior angle. For example, take angle alpha and add or subtract the correction. Repeat for remaining angles. Now let's switch to exterior angles. Note that each exterior angle is complementary to its own interior angle. With exterior angles, we can follow the same process. First, determine if the polygon is balanced or not. The only difference relies on the fact that the equation for the sum of angles changes slightly. Instead of subtracting 2 from the number of knots, we need to add 2. Other than that, everything else remains the same as you can see in the following equation. Deflection angles is the last type of angles that we need to review at this moment. The deflection angle between lines AB and BC is determined by projecting a line from line AB. The deflection is measured from this projected line to line BC. This will be a right deflection angle. Now, if we were to find the left deflection angle, we would project a line from line CB, then the deflection angle will be measured to the left towards line BA. Please note that deflection angles will always be less than 180 degrees. Let's look at an example to summarize deflection angles. We start from line AB and project a line from the ending point B. The projecting line from the endpoint will be parallel to line AB. From the projected line, we measure our deflection angle to the right, towards line BC. Next, we will find the deflection angle from line BC to CD. We then project a line from point C in the same manner we did the previous one. Now, from this projected line, we measure our deflection angle to the left towards line CD. Our last deflection angle between lines CD and DE can be determined by projecting a line from point D. We then measure our deflection angle to the right towards line DE. This is all the needed review for angles at this moment. We have put together a video with an example for interior angles. Please visit our channel for this and other videos. Thank you for visiting us. Have a great day.